Hello friends, welcome back once again. Under the sequence of pharmacology digester series, this is the next topic, types of muscarinic receptor. Muscarinic receptor are the parasympathetic receptor. These are the clumps under the parasympathetic receptor. Here, parasympathetic receptor, all the muscarinic receptors, mainly there are the five types of muscarinic receptors, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. Out of these five types of receptor, mainly M1, M2, M3, these are the mainly broadly distributed in our body, while M4 and M5, these are limited access have into the brain mainly in the cns portions which have functions to regulate the secretions of or the release of other neurotransmitters so here we are going to discuss the first three m1 m2 m3 receptors before starting this receptors just have a look on the characteristics of this receptors di diagram here i have summarized all the diagrams this Muscarinic receptors are GPCR receptors, G protein coupled receptors. G protein coupled receptors are the transmembrane receptors, means located on the membrane, have the extracellular binding domain for the agonist and intracellular for the effector pathway. Okay, so these GPCRs have the transmembrane, seven membrane, seven membrane. Seven membrane means heptahelicals. Here I have the heptahelicals. That's why this receptor is also known as the heptahelical receptors. Heptahelical receptors. Here we have the acetylcholine binding site. Here acetylcholine bind. One more thing. This seven membrane heptahelical receptors are have the sequencing of the amino acids. Amino acids have one chain of the amino group while another chain have the carboxylic acid group here the extracellular have the amino group while intracellular have the carboxylic group okay now the acetylcholine mainly bind on this sites and by the binding on this sites this uh, effector signaling pathway will be activated now the muscarinic receptors are divided into the two types on the basis of their functioning odd and even m1 M3 and M5, M2 and M4, these divided into the two classes. M1, M3, M5, these all three receptors are activated through the GQ, through the GQ proteins are coupled with the GQ proteins, while M2 and M4 are coupled with the GI, that means these have the inhibitory pathway, while first have the contractility mechanisms so here on the basis of this we have divided this receptor into the two classes one which have the gq binding while another have the gi protein coupling now when the gq protein activated by the odd numbers m1 m3 m5 then this gq protein further activated the plc that is the phospholipase c this phospholipase c will convert the pip2 Phosphatidyl inositol 45 biphosphate PIP2. This PIP2 will be break down into the IP3 and DAZ. Inositol 145 triphosphate while diacylglycerol DAG. DAG and IP3. These have the DAG and IP3 increases the intracellular calcium ion. Increases the intracellular calcium ion and this will can carry out the contraction while if you are talking about the inhibitory pathway means for the even number m2 and m4 then gi coupling will be activated this gi in, in, increases the adenyl cyclase increases the adenyl cyclase this adenyl cyclase will further inhibited the conversion of atp into the cyclic adenosine monophosphate cmp means cmp uh, amount or concentration will be decreases as well as with this the potassium ion channel open potassium ion increases this potassium ion will further carried out the hyperpolarizations means 
even number will carry out through the potassium ion while odd number will be carried out through the calcium ion now come to the characteristics of the muscarinic receptors three types m1 m2 m3 the major muscarinic receptor we are going to discuss here so what are the locations and function of these receptors so m1 receptor are mainly located into the autonomic ganglia in the autonomic ganglia this ip3dag pathway will further leads to the increased amount of the calcium ion this calcium ion will carried out the depolarization so here depolarization while at the gastric gland at the gastric gland by the contraction they increases the acid secretions means increase acid secretion means hydrochloric acid secretion will be increases m1 is also present on the cns and in the cns the m1 have the major functions to increase the learning and memory so here learning memory as well as have the motor activity related with the motor activity one more intric neurons in the intric neurons also m1 receptors are present and on the intric neurons it increases the intestinal secretions intestinal secretions because we have to under the parasympathetic stimulations what happens the digestion increases and the for the digestion increases the intestinal secretion should be increases so here m1 receptor through the intric neurons increases the intestinal secretions while m2 receptors are mainly present on the heart mainly present on the heart and on the heart these have the markedly bradycardia effect on the heart m2 receptor is present on the sa node av node as well as into the the ventricle on these three units sn as we know sa node is known as the pacemaker which in generate the impulse so impulse generation so if we inhibit the sa node means this m2 receptor inhibit the sa node by the inhibiting of the sa node what happens decrease impulse generation means impulse generation rate will be decreases while this av node also inhibited by the av node inhibition what happen the conduction velocity decreases inhibit conduction velocity while on the ventricle this contractility reduces the contractility decrease contractility of heart so by this we can say on the heart sa node av node ventricle m2 receptor have the combinedly bradycardia effect m2 receptor also present on the cns in the cns this m2 receptor is responsible for the tremor and analgesia just like the m3 receptors m2 receptors have a similar action on the smooth muscles and that is the contraction this contraction is carried out through the activation of the potassium potassium ion now the m3 receptors m3 receptors are mainly located on the visceral smooth muscles i and the exocrine glands so let's take one by one ciliary muscles first of all in the ciliary muscles m3 receptor located and this m3 receptor located in the ciliary muscles carried out the contraction so contraction will leads to the pupil contraction now in the exocrine gland m3 receptor causes the secretion in the vascular endothelium m3 receptor also located on the small blood vessels that have the only endothelium and this endothelium m3 receptor on the endothelium increases the nitric oxide release as we know when the no nitric oxide releases then it will activate the edrf endothelial dependent relaxing factor and that will further leads to the vasodilation so m3 receptor on the small blood vessels have the vasodilatory action while if you talk about the large blood vessels then it can be the contraction but while on the small blood vessels m3 receptors act, carried out the vasodilation in the bronchi not only the bronchi here i have just take the bronchi but on the all the visceral smooth muscles m3 receptors are located and this m3 receptors carried out the contraction in the i it in the i on the iris on the iris it m3 receptor present and that is carried out the pupil contraction
so this these are the location and the function of m1 m2 m3 receptors so just to remember these receptors location i will give you a simple mnemonics simple trick how pehle khao what is the meaning of khao here just like khana food pehle khao gastric gland and gastric gland need of the एसिड सिक्रेशन सो पहले खाओ एसिड सिक्रेशन खाएंगे तभी आपका डाइजेशन होगा पहले खाओ फिर दिल लगाओ दिल लगाओ मीन्स एम टू हार्ट फिर दिल लगाओ देन बाकी काम बाद में मीन्स बाकी सारी चीजें कहां पे हैं एम थ्री रिसेप्टर्स पे सो दिस इज अ ट्रिक इफ यू लाइक इट देन यू कैन कैरी आउट अदरवाइज यू कैन गो थ्रू द लोकेशन ओके नाउ द नेचर वॉट इज द नेचर ऑफ द एम वन एम टू एम थ्री रिसेप्टर एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एम वन रिसेप्टर एंड एम थ्री रिसेप्टर्स बोथ रिसेप्टर्स आर कैरिड है कपल्ड विद द जी क्यू प्रोटीन जी क्यू प्रोटीन आई पी थ्री डी एजी पाथवे हियर वी हैव समराइज जी क्यू प्रोटीन कपलिंग हियर ऑल्सो जी क्यू प्रोटीन कपलिंग वाइल एम टू रिसेप्टर आर कपल्ड विद द जी आई प्रोटीन और जी ओ प्रोटीन जी क्यू प्रोटीन कैरिड आउट द आई पी थ्री डी ए जी ट्रांसड्यूशन मैकेजम दैट विल लीड्स टू द इंक्रीज कैल्सियम आयन इंट्रा सेलुलर और साइटोसोलिक इंक्रीज कैल्सियम आयन वाइल एम टू रिसेप्टर कैरिड आउट द इंक्रीज पोटेशियम आयन चैनल ओपनिंग वाइल डिक्रीजिंग सी एम पी सिमिलरली एम थ्री आई पी थ्री डी ए जी पाथवे एंड इंक्रीजेज द इंट्रा सेलुलर कैल्सियम आयन नाउ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एगोनिस्ट एंड एंटागोनिस्ट very important you should be remember all these agonist and antagonist for your exam preparation the agonist of the m1 receptors is the oxotremorin oxotremorin major agonist of the m1 receptor m2 receptors methacholine m3 receptors bethanecol how we will remember this oxotremorin for the m1 receptors m2 methacholine to remember just symbol मेथाकोलिन एम हार्ट मायोकार्डियम मेथाकोलिन मायोकार्डियम मीन्स यू कैन को रिलेट विथ दिस मेथाकोलिन हैव द एक्शन ऑन द मायोकार्डियम सो मेथाकोलिन एम टू बेथनिकोल एम थ्री हाउ यू रिमेंबर बेथनिकोल ब्रोंकाई बेथनिकोल एक्ट ऑन द ब्रोंकाई ब्रोंकाई हैव द एम थ्री रिसेप्टर्स सो बेथनिकोल ऑन द ब्रोंकाई मीन्स एम थ्री रिसेप्टर्स दिस इज द ट्रिक यू कैन रिमेंबर इट antagonist for the m1 receptor the antagonist are the pyrenzepine and telenzepine pyrenzepine very important pyrenzepine is the m1 antagonist number of time this question asked recently in 2017 this question was also asked so m1 receptor antagonist pyrenzepine m2 receptor antagonist methotramine and tripetramine methotramine similarly methotramine act on the myocardium heart similarly here m3 receptor act on antagonist is the solifenacin and darifenacin these are the antagonist of the m3 receptors so this is the basic characteristics of the muscarinic receptors i hope so you will like it thank you